do you find it difficult um, policing the boundary between you and your fans or whatever you want to call your audience? I mean, is, um, is that increasingly difficult? Or? Uh, well, what I find is that most of the people that come and see me, I quite like them. And, and I'm not, um, I'm not <coughs> on enough... I'm, well, I'm not on, in, on things like panel shows where people see you by accident. Most of the people that see my stuff have to actively seek it out. The, the, the first series that I did for BBC Two in 2009, it was on at about half past nine and about a million people watched it. And the, what's called the audience response satisfaction rating was about 6.9 out of 10. And during that period, a lot of people that didn't like me that meant about a third of the people watching it didn't like it, right? But stayed watching it anyway, <laughs> out of some perverse sense to prove themselves <laughs> how much they hated it. And um, so during that period, I encountered quite a lot of people that were quite hostile to me. The second series was on much later at night, which was great. It was like 11.15. We got half a million viewers, but we got a satisfaction rate of about 9.9, .9, which meant that the half a million people that said it to watch it all actively liked it. So most people that you meet are all right. What's weird is when you've been on something. When I made the mistake of going on Have I Got News For You, which got about four million viewers, I was in Aberdeen the next weekend, waiting on my honeymoon, waiting in a queue for a cab, and a bloke drove past and went, Oi, quiz show cunt, at me. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, 